This episode is brought to you by Marvel Studios Echo. All episodes streaming January 9th, only on Hulu and Disney+. Plus. Rated TVMALV. Viewer discretion advised. Maya Lopez has betrayed her mentor, the notorious Kingpin. Now on the run, she returns to her hometown to prepare for the biggest fight of her life. Don't miss Marvel Studios' hardest-hitting series yet. An epic five-episode event. Marvel Studios Echo. All episodes streaming January 9th, only on Hulu and Disney+. Plus. A quick note before we begin, this is an intro to the intro. Please listen to this episode with headphones or earbuds. It just doesn't have the same effect when you listen to it out loud on speakers, unless you have some surround sound speakers, and that would be pretty neat. But yeah, it works a little better if you listen to it directly in your ears. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of Scare You to Sleep. You may recognize the sound of this particular microphone. This is the Tascam DR40 that I used in an intro a few episodes ago. I think it was the episode Doors, and it was highly requested that I use it again for another intro, and I thought this was perfect because this is me introducing the return of Guided Nightmares on the regular feed. These, uh, the first few episodes will be ones that my previous Patreon patrons will be familiar with. Um, they, since I've gotten rid of Patreon, I've decided to let everyone join in on the fun. If you're new here and you haven't experienced the previous Guided Nightmare, I have one previous one on the main feed, um, then I will explain them to you. Guided Nightmares are just me using little techniques I've picked up over the years from guided meditations and watching hypnotherapists and disclaimer, I am neither a professional or I have, I hold no license in any way. This is purely for entertainment, and if you benefit from the soothing sounds of a waking nightmare, then that's just a nice little byproduct. So, all of my guided nightmares will slowly be added to the feed one by one. They will not be replacing regular episodes. I am not crazy. I understand that these are very short, and they could never replace episode, especially because I know these aren't everyone's cup of tea. So, that being said, this is the first of few Guided Nightmares. I won't do this extended intro for every single one. I'll let them just play in as they were meant to, but since this is sort of a new concept to have them back on the feed as a bonus episode, as you can see, it's not Thursday, it's not episode day, so for those of you who have alerts set on your phone to let you know when your podcasts are have new episodes, and you're seeing this on a random Tuesday, then don't worry, this isn't replacing this week's episode again, just a bonus episode. I know I've reiterated that a few times, but believe me, it's warranted given the emails I've received in the past. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoy this. Um, I am always looking for, if you have a certain setting, you like, I did this on Patreon, um, I let people tell me what settings that they might like for a guided nightmare, I can't promise I'll do all of them, some of them I'm just not creative enough to think of one in that particular setting, but let me know if you have a particular setting you'd like, or if you'd like me to revisit one of the older settings, like, do you want to go back to the library? Do you want to go back to the train or the diner? Or do you want to maybe go back to the very first one that took place in your very own bed? Also, okay, before I go, I want to do this for the few people who requested it. This is the microphone with that fuzzy um, windscreen. And a lot of people, including me, this is one of my favorite triggers when it comes to ASMR, is this. It's like the 
closest I can get to, to gently tucking you in and tucking that little piece of hair behind your ear. Um, I think it's nice. If you hate it, then I apologize. It doesn't happen in the actual episode. This is just for the intro. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. I will let you go and enjoy this guided nightmare. Hello. So you're back for more. I didn't scare you away last time? That's good to hear. I missed you. It was cold today. So I feel like this time our journey needs to lead somewhere cozy. Hmm. Where should we go? Oh, I know. I've got the perfect place. So let's relax, shall we? I hope you've made yourself a nice mug of something warm. And you're laying down on something soft. Bundle yourself up into a snug little cocoon. Let's start breathing deep. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. And out. Two, three, four, five. Now, unclench your toes and stretch and loosen the muscles in your tired feet. Rest those weary legs. Your calves deserve a break and your knees and your thighs. Your hips are melting into your cushions. Your poor lower back does so much work. Let it relax. Its job is done for the day. Keep breathing deeply all the way from deep in your belly, in and out, wiggle your fingers a little, make sure they aren't clenched into a fist, your wrists follow and your forearms. Your elbows go slack. You let your shoulders fall because they feel so heavy, so tired. As your neck and your head sink deeper into your pillow, do me a favor. Reach up with your fingertips and give your entire scalp a good scratch. Lightly run your fingers or nails in a light circular motion all around the top of your head. Now, lay your arms back down in 
the way that is most comfortable. Let your lips part as you relax your jaw. Your eyes are gently closed and the spot between your eyebrows deserves a break as well. Let it rest. Now, come with me. I told you it was cold today. You've arrived at a picturesque cabin near a frozen lake. You have arrived before your loved ones who will be joining you tomorrow. For a moment, you stand in the icy cold and admire the view. You breathe in the crisp air and as you breathe out, your breath creates a beautiful dragon-like fog in front of you and the sky fades to pink as the sun begins to set. You reach inside your coat pocket and find a set of very old looking keys. You unlock the front door and step inside. It's so cold and dark. You turn on the lights and immediately build a fire in the fireplace. You settle into the overstuffed armchair nearby and crack open the book you've been meaning to read for a while. Tonight, you have the whole place to yourself and you intend to enjoy every second of the quiet. It was such a long and cold day but you're so relaxed and warm now and your eyelids begin to feel very heavy. As your eyes begin to shut, you notice all the lights in the cabin flicker and then turn off. You straighten up and look around the cabin. Now only lit by the light of the fire. All the shadows stretch out now. And the once quaint looking cabin looks like a funhouse mirror version of itself. You grab your phone off the table beside you. It alerts you that you only have 5% of your battery left, and besides that, you have zero signal. The wind howls outside. It's so dark, and it would be too dangerous to drive down to the ranger station. You decide to sit back in your cozy chair and try to enjoy the night anyway. People lived without electricity for thousands of years. You can do it for one night. Your adrenaline is still coursing through your veins, so sleep isn't an option. You pull out your book once again and decide to read by the light of the fire. You can't quite seem to fully concentrate. You can't seem to shake the feeling that Someone is staring at the back of your head. You feel a presence behind you, lurking in the darkness. Its eyes bore into you, and the hair on the back of your neck stands up. You've had this feeling before, but in your own home, where a few flips of a light switch calm your worries. Slowly, you turn your head 
and look over your shoulder. Out of the corner of your eye, you see him. In the darkness, you see what appears to be a tall man with a hat on. Your neck snaps forward. Your book drops to the floor as you stand to face this horrifying sight. You turn towards the darkness and he's gone. Your heart beats loudly in your ears. You begin an unsure chuckle at your own fear when you feel your hair stand up on end again. This time, slowly you look to your left and there he stands. His ghoulish face is surrounded by stringy hair. His mouth is a skeletal smile and his eyes wide and crazed. You think to yourself. Your brain unable to fully comprehend the specter that stands before you. Somehow, suddenly, he's gone. Not a movement or even a puff of smoke. He was, and then he was no more. In a jolt, you start gathering your things. You grab your coat and gloves, your boots and hat. You'll come back to the luggage in the daylight. There was no way you'd be going upstairs in the dark. The only last thing you need is... Your car keys are gone. You could have sworn you left them right there. You can't just trudge out into the snow and wind on foot. The ranger station was a couple of miles away. You could easily get lost in the dark. As you attempt to gather your thoughts, you begin to hear a woman humming in the small open kitchen area. You look and you see the back of her. Her hair looks like the women from the old-timey Coca-Cola ads, and she's wearing a button-up flowery blouse with a long skirt. She turns. She holds her hands as if she's holding a tray, but there isn't anything there. The light of the fire seems to go through her. She looks like a hologram being lit from some unknown source. You step back and into an end table, making a noise that startles the woman. She looks straight at you. Strangely, she seems just as frightened, if not more so, to see you as you are to see her. Her eyes widen and she drops her invisible dish. You put your hands up to show that you aren't a danger, but her mouth forms a silent scream as she runs out the door. You chase after her. Why are you chasing this ghostly woman? Why is she afraid of you? she see you? This isn't like the others and you're the ghost, is it? You burst through the doorway into the cold. The freezing air biting at your face immediately. There's just enough moonlight to watch as the woman runs to the lake and plunges through the ice. You still run after her. 
you still want to save her. But as you approach the lake's edge, you see that there is no broken ice. It's frozen solid for probably a foot deep. You wipe a glove over the surface of the ice. A white hand pounds from underneath. And you fall backwards. You get on your knees. And you look at that cleared spot of ice again. But there is nothing but blackness. You stand and turn to run back to the cabin. But at the open door, backlit by the fire that still burns inside, is the outline of that tall man. You watch him, afraid to take your eyes away. You stand there and watch each other. As your legs begin to tire, you sink down into the snow. Shh. It will be all right. Morning will come soon. Everything will be better then. Just relax. You're so tired. Your adrenaline is fading. So very tired. Your eyelids droop. Your head bobs. And funny enough, as cold as it is, you're starting to feel so warm. As you rest your weary head, and close your sleepy eyes. The man disappears. His job is done. Now, sleep, little one. Good night.